Okay, Chris, the main thing today, the main takeaway was minor key parallel thirds. Just remember, every note of this is in the key B minor. So it goes minor, minor, flat three major, four and five minor. And that can also be played at all five pairs. That's A minor, this is D minor, G minor, etc. And the anomaly is C minor. So now instead of like this, the B shift makes it so that it's closer. So it's minor, minor, major, I'm sorry, what did I do wrong? Minor, minor, major, minor, minor. And that's the key of Rhiannon. I mean, that's the scale of Rhiannon, but it's in the key of A, starting here. So we talked about the chorus to Rhiannon, this idea of intervals being a halfway point between chords, which are three notes or more, and melody, which is a single note at a time. So intervals have harmonic and melodic qualities. So the blues that you've always been rocking, or blues rock, is a fifth, a perfect fifth, that gets raised to a six. So we call it the five to six pattern. Five. And this shifts to the key of C, which is the relative major. That's why it has such a bright feeling after the verse. So that's one way to play it, is with um, the five to six pattern. It gives it that kind of grungy blues sound. Or you could play a sweeter version, which is I think one of the guitars does, where it's um, a C to a C4, or a C sus4. And then on the F, you can use the thumb F, first finger thumb. Make sure you don't get all gangly with your thumb. It just has to barely touch the low E. I always tell people, don't overdo it. It's closer than you think. And then your pinky here would go into the B string. Guitar parts complement one another and go together very well. And then we talked about this F more generally, um, how it could be used to play a certain songs. So one was Dreams. And how part of the reason Spoon Guy likes it is because you keep the first string open, which creates a kind of dissonance usually. Certain chords sounds better than others. But Dreams just does the thumb F to the thumb G for most of the three minute span. Then you can kind of embellish if you want. The first string sounds really good too. And the other example, if you want to continue to work on that song, was the Under the Bridge outro, which is, I think they do it a little different live, but this is how I do it. It gets the point across A to C, keeping the first string open throughout G and F. Okay, and keep working on the chain as well. Have fun.